Good evening. I'm just, uh, here to say Happy Halloween. I don't have time for much else. I'm in the middle of working on the latest page of Zebra Girl. But I had to take a little bit of time out just to come out and reveal to you that I wish you the best of seasons and uh, enjoy your Halloween candy. And by Halloween candy, I mean all the stuff that you didn't get to this past month or today, which pertains to Halloween, which you're going to be going through in the following week. It's what I call the Halloween candy period. And that's it. I've got nothing else to talk about. That's, that's, it's better than nothing. I'm sorry, I, I know, you wait a whole month, and this is all you get, just a few minutes of me saying Happy Halloween. That's the spooky part! I mean, I assume that you anticipate these videos somewhat. This is all I've got for you this month. That's it, just me wishing you a heartfelt Happy Halloween. I, I would like to talk about something else, just to give you your money's worth. I, I could talk about the last episode or two of Doctor Who, lots of stuff to make fun of. The whole planet grows trees all over itself, grows forests all over itself, including on the oceans, apparently. We zip back, see the world, the oceans have turned green. And the, the trees do this to deflect a solar flare, and then they disappear immediately. <laughs> Yeah. Doctor Who has never had real science very much, but it's had a little bit of science. Now it is anti-science. I, I did a little comic about this on DeviantArt. I don't even need to talk about it. And uh, I'm not wearing my Doctor Who hat anyway, so... Um, yeah, so I, I can't really... No, yeah, I've, I've, got, I've got nothing. I, I could talk about how this is my favorite season, this is my favorite holiday, bar none. Which is not to say I don't care an awful lot about Christmas, but Christmas is, uh, let's be honest, it's, 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 I've said it before, I'll say it again, it's the anti-holiday. You have so much stress on your shoulders at Christmas time, it, well now I'm starting to talk about Christmas and that spoils the whole experience. Yeah, that's all I got. Happy Halloween, the end. I feel bad for not giving you more. I want to, but I, I can't even tell a ghost story. Okay, once upon a time, there was this guy, and uh, he was a uh, really brave, macho guy. You know, he was always showing off to all his friends, you know, uh, daring them to, to match him in stunts and things like that. And uh, this is not a story I've made up, by the way. This is a story I've heard. Guy was kind of a jerk, but, you know, he could live up to his claims, usually, so no one bothered him too much about it, until they challenged him to stay one night in a haunted house, a supposedly haunted house. Well, the guy, he was a big tough guy, said, I'm not afraid of any old haunted house, I'll go in there, I'll shove it in your faces, you guys. So he does. He uh, goes into this uh, old, worn-down mansion, uh, determined to sleep a night in this decrepit bed covered with dust and spiders and stuff. And uh, for a while, it's going all right. Gets well into the dead of night, and he's just about to go to sleep when he notices something staring at him from the end of the bed. And this guy knows this thing is there. It's not a trick of the light. He can see it. These two little eyes sticking up over the end of the bed, looking at him. Two little eyes. And the guy, this is where he becomes genuinely terrified. Because this is real. There is something looking at him from the end of the bed. So, very carefully, he reaches over and gets his gun out. Takes aim. And the next morning, his friends come to get him. And they find him screaming in agony because he shot off one of his big toes. What, that wasn't scary? Well, I know it wasn't scary, but I, I thought it was cute. Well, maybe I just didn't tell it well. Oh. Alright, alright, go do something scary. No, no, I, I, I said I was just going to say that. I was giving... That, that was a treat that I gave you. You didn't need to stay and listen to that. I... Well, I thought it was a cute story. I I didn't come here to be judged by you. I don't care what you think of me. Yes, I do. 
I care so much. I care what everybody thinks of me. I try to satisfy everyone, and I always wind up shooting myself in the foot. Ha ha. Yeah, that's the real horror of Halloween. Facing my mortality every year. Knowing that I fail. I've, I mean, I'm sitting here alone. I got no friends to hang out with. I got nothing. I'm not going out to any parties. I'm working on my comic. Talking to you. The video camera. That's all I got. I, I'm a freaking zombie. That's I'm a ghost. I ain't got a life. That's not true. I'm talking to you. And that's human contact of a sort. And I thank you for that. You're out there, right? You're hearing this. You're, you're like people, right? Ain't like Frankensteins or something? No. Thank you, my